Welcome, Spotlight friends, to something a little different. Usually we listen to programs together, or Liz and I uh, have a conversation, but today it's just me, Adam, and this Sunday is a holiday called Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is a holiday about celebrating love and relationships. So, I thought we would give you a Valentine's Day poem challenge. So, I'm going to write a poem right here. It's going to be very simple. If you want to try to try to do it along with you, all you need is something to write with and something to write on. So there is a fun little poem uh, that's, I don't know if it's a schoolyard poem or if someone wrote it. I'll write it here for you. It just goes like this. Roses are red. That's the first line. Roses are red. Very simple. We have another kind of flower, violets are blue. That's true. Violets are the color blue. They're actually the color violet, but this is the poem. Sugar is sweet. And then, which is also true. And so are you. Put a little exclamation point there. Roses are red, violets are blue, sugar is sweet, and so are you. A nice little poem for Valentine's Day. That's something you, you can use, you could tell somebody. It's, it rhymes, blue and you, and it's very simple. However, we want to be original, right? We want the people we love to not just have their own thing. So we're gonna take that, we're gonna set that to the side here. So we are gonna write our own poem. I have not planned this. I don't know what it's going to result in, but we're gonna follow the same little pattern. Uh, so we have something that is true, something that is true, something that is true, and then the implications, roses, violets, and sugar. So, Maybe we'll do more than one of these, we'll see. So I'm gonna think about some words that rhyme. So let's let's just dive in, right? Let's just, sometimes you just have to, you know, just have to do it. Um, it might not be the, might, might not be the one we use. So another thing that is very popular, I'll write a little bigger. Chocolate. Chocolate is, well, I was going to say brown. There's also white chocolate. Chocolate is, uh, ooh, I'm just going to go with sweet. Chocolate is sweet. You guys get to see my, my handwriting. Chocolate is sweet. Um, what else? Chocolate is sweet. Uh, summer. I love summertime and, um, the sunshine. Ooh, I like sunshine. There we go. Sunshine is... warm. 
All right, so we're we're not, you know, we're not Shakespeare here, but chocolate is sweet, sunshine is warm. So we're gonna have to rhyme eventually with warm, 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 uh, warm. What rhymes with warm? Harm? That's kind of an off rhyme. All right, we're getting rid of that. We're starting over. You you think maybe you stick with what you've written. Um, I like the sunshine, so I'm gonna stick with that. Sunshine is great. I love the sunshine. It is winter here and I'm just, it's cold and there's snow. So I've been thinking about sunshine. Sunshine is great. Uh, what else do I like? Sunshine is great. Flowers are good. Ooh, I'm, I'm going to go crazy. When you're around. All right, so your contractions in English are one of those things that can be a little tricky. So that is the combination of the word you are, right? You probably knew that already. So that becomes your. In Spotlight, we try to avoid um, contractions as much as possible. They're part of speech. Speech, when people speak, they move together. I wouldn't say when you are around, I'd say when you're around. Your is a very tricky word because you also have the possessive form, your, right? Okay, you guys know this. When you're around, now I'm gonna do uh, a little, uh, an off rhyme. I'm, another contraction, in a great mood. Okay, so good and mood are not a perfect rhyme. Mood, it would be good mood. But you know what? In poetry, there's a lot of playfulness. That's one of the things that's really fun about poetry. Sunshine is great. Flower, Ooh, sorry. You probably were all screaming. You forgot the S. Flowers are good. When you're around, I'm in a great mood. Not bad, not bad. All right, I bet we can do one more. All right. Spotlight is fun. Write that in all caps. Now I'm gonna keep the keep the rhythm of the same. I learn a lot Spotlight is fun. I learn a lot. I prefer Liz, but like Adam a lot. Okay, so I rhymed a lot. I used the same word. That's not really a rhyme, but um, but that's okay. That's okay. We're just having fun. So the challenge, we didn't like this one. We didn't like that one very much. 
Roses are red, violets are blue, sugar is sweet, and so are you. Sunshine is great, flowers are good. When you're around, I'm in a great mood. Spotlight is fun, I learn a lot. I prefer Liz, but like Adam, a lot. So the Valentine's challenge is for you to write a poem, a little four line poem about something you love, something you just, just try it. And I messed up and that's okay. So what I want you to do is write this poem and share it on either Facebook or in, on YouTube and, um, and we'll see how many we can get. I would love it if we can get 10 people to write 10 poems. We should get 100 people. And uh, check out our program all about Valentine's Day, where it came from, and different love and celebration traditions around the world. Thanks.